Hello everyone and welcome back to Sun Moss Clan here in our Warrior Cats Generator Challenge where we are still reeling from the shocking twist that happened at the end of Year 4's Greenleaf. Just as we were celebrating Greenleaf having been a time of absolute abundance and just success for our cats because of the amazing hunting skills that Sedge Speckle, our deputy, was able to display alongside Holly Paw, his apprentice, when they chased off a rogue cat and then brought back enough food to feed the entire clan, which gave our clan enough time to go out and collect more of the herbs than we have ever had before. So we finally have a well-stocked medicine cat den. Um, some things happened. Some things happened and we ended up actually having some cats die of contagious disease. So we did lose some cats. We have some new members of Star Clan because we now have poor Rookshade who was really thinking about possibly leaving the clan so that he could go ahead and join a different clan get away from the memory of losing Reedfire. He actually has died. He had been a mate with, um, he had been a mate with Reed Fire, who he really truly loved the most, and so he I think he's actually happy to be back with Reed Fire in Star Clan. And to him, he's just relieved that like he's been united with Reed Fire. He doesn't even really think twice about poor Light Ear, who was just desperate to have kittens, and it just didn't work out again. This is like I think the second or third mate. This is the second mate she's had who has died and left her with no kits of her own to be able to attend to which is so sad and then trout bird has also passed away which really devastated me because i was so excited about watching her possibly have this arc of power and being able to become strong and take care of the clan to prove herself to her mate pale flame she is the second mate that pale flame has also lost which i think is very hard for that that cat as well Wow, I don't know how to reel from that, but just as we had two lives actually be taken, we also had two lives who came to join us because now we have little Clover Kate, who's apparently being quite naughty and biting Volhart's tail. Volhart is kind of amazing. She is the deputy's mate and she spends almost as much time in the nursery as she does hunting. In fact, I think she spends a lot more time in the nursery because she has literally given birth to half the clan. However, she is actually one of our top hunters as well. She still has an ex she's got a very calm personality. She was formerly a kitty pet, but her experience is one of the highest sets of experience in the entire clan. So I'm constantly amazed because Volhart kind of does it all. Um, so that said, <laughs> We have little Clover Kit and Eel Kit. Oh wait, that's Jagged Kit. All right, Clover Kit, where's your sibling? Eel Kit, who is also an impulsive young male kitten, and their parents are Blue Nettle and Ash Shadow. I think Blue Nettle is actually oh, learning more about Freckle. She has a strong connection to Star Clan after all. But I think Blue Nettle is actually extremely happy. I think it's kind of an open secret that, you know, the the um <laughs> An open secret that the medicine cat, who's feeling super confident today, actually has these kittens. I'm gonna say in our world, cat's world, it's not considered the worst thing for a medicine cat to have kits. It's just uncommon. Um, and he's kind of hands off with his kits, I think. I think he, he tends to focus more on matters in the medicine cat den, but he's proud to know that at least he's added to the clan with his family. So yeah, that's what happened last time to finish off just as we were celebrating having so much amazing stuff collected for the medicine cat den. Oh, warrior cats giveth and warrior ta cats taketh away. Uh, good news is that we, oh, chestnut stock is thinking about too many young cats like dying young, but chestnut stock is still sticking around. Bless her heart, <laughs> our vengeful elder. Oh my gosh. I love how she's got so many of you guys as a fan club. But I don't have the special event generator created just yet that I have been talking about because uh, I'm still kind of thinking out ideas of what I want to do there. And I feel like with the medicine cat events, we kind of have enough to keep us busy at the moment. But I am going to be working on a random generator soon that we will roll at the beginning of every episode to see if anything in particular happens 
happens to our clan. And I am going to make it a random generator that is specific to this clan and its current plots. So I will constantly be updating it. For instance, the random generator might say that there is uh, finally that final showdown between Berry Star and Sedge Speckle. And we need to actually go ahead and see which cat deserves to lead the clan. Or it might uh, call up the rogues. Oh, and then Goldpaw still wants to prove himself to the clan, especially after his mentor died. So uh, the random generator I'm going to create will actually be just custom to like specifically that episode because I'll go through our current plots. We might have a big plot happen. We might say we need to get a message from a specific star clan cat uh, or we might actually have like relationships break up or we might have just a change in current relationships like who's friends with who, who wants to go on patrol with who, or it might be something even more like dramatic like Barry Star loses a life so I am working on a like I mentioned like custom special generator to start each episode off with but I'm kind of still working on that in the background for now let's go ahead and see what the cats have to tell us today <laughs> Fairy Star is actually looking forward to today. Maybe she's going to actually get somewhere with her apprentice Moonpaw. Sedge Speckle heading to the dirt place, which I like to interpret as going adventuring. So whenever a cat is quote unquote heading to the dirt place, they're sneaking out of camp uh, to go investigate things on their own. So we might send uh, Sedge Speckle on a solo patrol and say whatever he discovers on the solo patrol by himself is what he discovered wandering away from clan to territory. Chestnut stock is thinking about how too many cats die young. Light ear is watching over the kids. <laughs> is there anybody she could be mates with to have kids with? I mean, we could pair her up with Pale Flame. What about Golden Stripe? Like, I think she's just so sad. Light ear. Okay, we're gonna put that in our quick notes. Light ear is uh, Light Ear watches after the newborn kits and the kits almost old enough to be apprentices in the nursery. She has always wanted kits of her own, but all of her mates have died. Will she ever have her dreams be fulfilled? I think she's getting very sad about that. Uh, dreams fulfilled, fine. Uh, I think she's getting very sad about that. Maybe she wants to have like another loner come in. Would Golden Stripe be a good mate? He's drying some herbs. He's kind of got that troublesome, smart personality. Pale Flame is careful and a great fighter. Guarding the camp entrance. Uh, whoops, sorry, I was looking at light air. Watching over the kids. She's playful and an excellent speaker. Let's give it like to the end of this moon to decide like if she's going to take Golden Stripe as a mate. She just desperately wants kits of her own, but Golden Stripe's got one of the most prickly personalities in all of the camp, and I don't know if he'd make the best dad. <laughs> Ash Shadow is feeling content that he has added to the clan. Pale Flame is guarding the camp entrance. She too has lost several mates. She has already had a few kits of her own and lost one kit, so I think maybe at the moment she's okay without a mate. Volhart is hoping to lead the next patrol, which like I think we're going to interpret that as she's excited about Jagged Kit, Flash Kit, Sky Kit, and Scorch Kit. <laughs> Look at all her kids, oh my gosh. <laughs> Going ahead and possibly getting old enough to be apprentices because queens don't leave the medicine cat, or queens don't go on patrol unless they absolutely have to, and we should get plenty of food this time. Uh, Blue Nettle is learning more about Freckle, possibly from her mate Ash Shadow. Uh, and then Speckle Flood wishes they could visit Light in Star Clan. Oh, <laughs> oh! And then Goldpaw is acting angsty. Let's see. Moonpaw pretends to fight an enemy warrior. Longpaw can't wait to be a warrior. I feel like Longpaw is going to feel a little stifled because they have to either wait for Volhart or go out on their own. So we have two queens this time: Blue Nettle and Volhart. And I think, oh, and Goldpaw is now Blue Nettle's apprentice. So I think Goldpaw and Longpaw might sneak out on their own because they really want to prove themselves and be warriors. And the fact their mentors are currently queens are probably something that would make them feel a little restless. So we might let them head out on their own and see if they can risk it. Shadowpot wants to spend time alone today. 
<laughs> Nightpaw is having a hard day, uh, possibly because their mentor Lightyear is really depressed about her mate dying again. Hollypaw, however, is feeling happy. I wonder if the cats are still praising him and thinking that he is just a really special up and coming apprentice because of all of the food he was able to bring back with his mentor and his father, Sedge Speckle, last time. So I think that's just gonna make Golden Stripe. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go, we're gonna put that down. Uh, let's see, Hollypaw is still receiving praise from the clan cats for being able to be such a great hunter at a young age. He's a, he is a little bashful, but very happy from the attention and also increasingly hated by Golden Stripe. And that's why I think Golden Stripe, Stripe like his hatred is going to make it so that he doesn't really notice romance and might push other cats away. So we'll have to see how that is. All right. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, yes. Huh. So he's feeling happy, and the clan seems to be, like, praising him. Sweet Patch is muttering to himself. Scorch Kit wants to take a nap. Sky Kit eating fresh kill. Flash Kit practicing the hunting crouch. Jag Kit really wants to grow up, but they're so small. Clover Kit biting Volhard's tail. And Eel Kit looking forward to today. All right, how's Star Clan just real quick? Let's check on the medicine cats. If they say anything really dramatic, then we'll go ahead and say they have some sort of um, omen. Nope, model whisker, feeling lazy. Shade, sheep shade, uh, going ahead and mining the stars in their fur. And we don't have anybody else who was a medicine cat, right? Yeah, nobody else who was a medicine cat. And I'm just gonna kind of glance. Uh, oh, and Fallen Star has been following the growth of light air. Interesting. I'm gonna kind of put that, we'll put those kinds of notes in. Fallen Star of Star Clan has been following the growth of light ear. So I'll start just making note when specific cats are mentioned because I wonder if Fallen Star might have some ideas that light ear has been through so much loss and she still so desperately wants kits of her own, but maybe that will make her a good leader because she seems to be starting to kind of take care of the other kits in the clan even though she doesn't have kits of her own like she's really putting the clan for herself that way uh and then skyface is curious about what pale flame is doing oh yeah and skyface was one of the medicine cats i forgot <laughs> they, they lived for such a brief moment skyface of star clan is wondering what pale flame is doing so both of these cats lost their mates last time so i think that star clan is interested in these two at the moment because you know they recently lost mates which i think is quite kind let's see and then everybody's admiring their fur and blue tail is thinking about future prophecies with fog speckle blue tail you better not be trying to like kill my like oh wait 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 fog speckle's already dead <laughs> Oh, Freckle is hoping they'll be remembered. I mean, you tried, dude. And then Light is hoping to meet with a medicine cat soon. Uh, that's interesting because Light is hoping... I think Light is actually showing up in Blue Nettles... Oh, wait, that's Freckle. <laughs> Who wanted to learn more about Light? I'm trying to remember. Somebody wanted to learn... Yeah! Speckle Flood wishes they could visit Light in Star Clan. Let's just put down Light visits Speckle Flood in a dream but why there we go because that was such a coincidence that both of them were thinking about each other we're just going to put that down all right let's go ahead and now that we have checked in on star clan checked in on the cats it is time to see is there anybody in the medicine cat den ah the kids <laughs> Clover Kate, why are you in the medicine cat den please tell me it's not for a bad reason Okay, they are visiting because they have a terrible stomach ache and need five juniper berries to treat. Do we have five juniper berries? We have exactly five juniper berries. I am never going to doubt the power of juniper berries again. I know they come up a lot in our random generator, but I swear to you they are weighted the exact same as, and they have the same chance as everything else. Um, so I'm glad we had the juniper berries. We don't have to have an extra prey cost. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so Clover Kit, we'll put that down. Clover Kit, who was very busy biting Vol- oops, voting, haha, 
biting Volhart's tail for quite a while and causing trouble in the nursery, managed to eat something that really upset their stomach. Whoops. Upset their stomach and Ash Shadow had to use the entire stalk of juniper stock, sorry, of juniper berries to treat them. There we go. So I wonder what on earth they got into. I imagine that, that Volhart uh, had a lot to say about that. And Blue Nettle was a little embarrassed to be scolded by the older, more experienced queen. So we're just kind of going to note that there's a little bit of tension going on in the nursery. All right. Let's get ready for patrols. I'm so glad that we only had like a mild little thing happen today. Uh, and then somebody, oh yeah, Sag Speckle was gonna sneak out on his own. Uh, so he's actually not even in my list of cats I can pick this time. Light Ear, she has a very, oh my gosh. Yeah, if Light Ear has a very high, um, wow, like very high skill, that's really good for us. So let me actually make sure I have the right number of prey needed. Yes. Okay. There we go. So let's see. Light ear. Night paw is her apprentice. So let's add light ear and night paw. We'll send him out on patrol. Oh, a thunder path? Oh man. But light ear is our most experienced hunter now. I really need her to hunt some prey for us. Oh, thank goodness. They made it to the other side and she brought back so much prey that actually she just covered all of the food we need for the day. So like maybe that was a little overpowered, but the odds of her bringing back that much food were very low. So now we're gonna go ahead, light ear uh, and night paw wrist crossing a thunder path and found a spot where some two legs had been fishing, we'll say. They were able to sneak away with the entire bucket of fish and had enough food to feed the clan for the entire moon. All right, so that's another like insta-fill on our food. That sounds great until you realize we are gonna have random events that could make it so that we're gonna have to get even more food than usual. Uh, and if this was leaf bear, that would have only been uh, like half the food we needed. <laughs> but let's go ahead. We're gonna send Sedge Speckle out on his own. Uh, he doesn't need to actually gather food this time. I'm gonna say maybe he's looking for some special herbs or something. He doesn't find anything useful, but he did learn a lot from it. We'll go ahead and start gathering some herbs. Why not? Four yarrow leaves. Let's go for it. Like, oh my. Yeah, we're getting a lot of yarrow leaves. This feels a little cheatsy, but sometimes with the random generators, I can't tell if they're broken until they're obviously are broken as we're going. So let's just finish the day planned as we have it. And then uh, we'll adjust as necessary. Cause there's a chance we could like get injured and then I'm gonna need to start using some of these things. Uh, let's go ahead and send Berry Star and Moonpaw, her apprentice out, scent of a large rat. They did it! They actually were able to make the kill. <laughs> That's rare for Berry Star, oh my gosh. Uh, and they brought back four water mint leaves, which we hadn't had any of yet. Boy, I feel like the cats are starting to get more experience and that is really beginning to pay off for us. Uh, meanwhile, let's see, Gold Paw. One, I think we'll wait for the apprentices for just a second. So Blue Nettle is a queen, so she can't go out. Volhart is a queen, so she can't go out. Sweet Patch has Shadow Paw as his apprentice now. So we'll send them out. They dissolve into ghost stories and they like scare each other back. <laughs> oh my gosh. I bet Sweet Paw has all sorts. Of oh, eight water mint leaves. What? Sweet Paw probably has all sorts of stories that they could go ahead and tell um, because they are from like a different world than our clan cats. All right, there's our water mint. And we're doing really well. I'm happy with this. You two can't leave. Speckle Flood, you're so young, you don't have an apprentice. Let me just double check. Yeah, Speckle Flood doesn't have an apprentice. We'll go out. Thunder Path. Oh, Speckle Flood, please be careful. Please be careful. 
<gasps> Speckle Flood is hit by a monster and retires to the Elder's Den? <gasps> no! Speckle Flood! Oh my gosh! And now Speckle Flood is considered an elder. She's missing a leg! This is so devastating. Literally as she was just trying to go ahead and oh no. And have like a family and kids of her own and now she'll never have kids because she's considered an elder. Oh, I think she's going to have this huge fight with Sweet Paw, who just wants to go ahead and support her. They're going to end up breaking up, I think, because she's going to be, like, just rejecting all of these emotions. Sweet Paw is talking to himself. I'm going to be honest, I feel like Lightyear might move in on this moment. We're just going to see, like, just for a moon, because, like, to console each other while all of this chaos is going on. Oh man, I think that would make all of the remaining cats a lot more like careful, I would hope. Um, oh my gosh. Holly Paw, who is your Sedge Speckle is oh Sedge Speckle was off doing like secret things today. Wow, and Pale Flame. Let's see. Yeah, you're not anybody's mentor. So I'm actually gonna say that Sedge Speckle asked if um Hollypaw could go with Pale Flame, and they're gonna go out on patrol. I am so sad for her. I really wanted our girl. A six water mint leaves. What am I gonna do with so much water mint? I don't know, but hopefully we need it. We don't have any poppy seeds. Oh, I'm so sad for her. You guys, Speckle Flood, what? Okay, well, let's see. At least Chestnut Stock has some company, but... Oh, Chestnut Stock, please live forever or else Speckle Flood's going to be alone in the Elder's Den, and my heart cannot take that. And then finally, uh, other than the queens, we have Longpaw and Goldpaw, whose mentors are currently both queens, and I feel like Goldpaw really wants to prove himself. So we're going to let him and Longpaw actually sneak out together on patrol, and they're going to try practicing. <laughs> And did that give them any kind of experience? Nope, still very low experience. But did they bring back anything useful? Five daisy petals. Well, we didn't really have a lot of those either, so at least we have added more to the medicine cat den. Almost too much. I might need to tweak like how it's all set up or have an opportunity uh, where we might lose some of those things, but we'll have to see. Or maybe more cats will visit the medicine cat den. Um, oh boy. <laughs> Wow, guys. Okay, that was a little bit of drama. And I, I do feel like Lightyear would have come up on Sweet Patch when they're both feeling kind of confused and emotional and Speckle Floyd, like, doesn't have Sweet Patch as a mate. I feel like Sweet Patch still feels super loyal to Speckle Flood, though. So if Lightyear doesn't end up having kits with him, like, this turn, I think he's going to break up with her and reunite with Speckle Flood. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Oh boy, Moonpaw just earned a scar fighting a dog, and Shadowpaw just earned a scar fighting a fox. <laughs> Moonpaw, you bloodthirsty little thing! Oh my gosh, uh, yeah, that's the the leader Berry Stars. Um, that's the leader's apprentice. So wow. Oh, and what's going on over here, Berry Star? Debating if you should go to war with another clan. You're already a leader. You're only like 120 moons. Oh, you're 10? How did that happen so fast? Oh my gosh. Okay, and because Sweet Paw did not, Sweet Patch, pardon me, did not end up having kittens with Lightyear that turn, he's going to go back to Speckle Flood and just never talk about, like, it was just a secret thing with him and Lightyear. Oh boy. Okay, guys, that was a lot of drama. I love this so much. I do think I'm going to need to consider tweaking some of the like herb supply and maybe every every turn there's a chance or maybe not every turn because the other thing is this seems like a lot, but some of the treatments are like six pieces at least. Sometimes the treatments are up to 12 pieces of these different materials so maybe we'll just kind of follow things through the rest of this the year and if we end the year with just tons and tons of herbs then clearly we need to change things up um also because we had two cats so we actually had uh speckle flood gets hit gets hit by a monster 
and loses a leg. I guess we, I guess that felt severe enough to me. Um, she is no longer able to be a warrior and retires to the Elder Den. She gets into a fight with her mate, Sweet Patch. I think his name is like Sweet Patch, yeah. And insists that he leaves her. Uh, but that is her, uh, that is her trauma speaking. Sweet Patch is quite confused and falls into a brief secret relationship with Light Ear. But no kits result and he leaves her for uh, Speckle Flood, his true love, uh, leaves her for Speckle Flood, his true love, and neither he nor Light Ear ever speak of that event. Poor Light Ear, she just really wants kits. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we also had Moonpaw fought a dog and took a scar. And then Nightpaw fought a fox and took a scar. Did these attacks leave disease? So I feel like if we get events like that or the monster where she loses a leg, I probably should have rolled to, like, let's just in theory, this is just in theory. If I rolled to see what happened. So we'll go with Speckle Flood. Visiting because they broke a bone and she needs poppy seeds for the pain. If too severe, they might not be able to hunt again. They need to rust for two minutes. Well, that actually happened. So I feel like even if we, <laughs> even if we ended up having, um, yeah, even if we ended up having her go to the medicine cat's den, the result would have been the same. That she would have permanently lost ability with that bone, lost the leg, and she would go to the elder cat's den. Uh, this, it, the nine severity means she would have needed nine poppy seeds to help treat the pain while they set it. Um, and if we weren't able to cure it, and nine is too high of a severity, it, like not being able to hunt again is for sure. If we were able to cure it, because say maybe it was like a three on a broken bone and we had the poppy seeds to count, then they she still would have needed to rest for two moons, but that's just a lot, wow. Meanwhile, if Moonpaw had been injured by the dog, we would have needed four cobwebs or it would have gotten infected. You know what, we'll, we'll do this, we'll do this. We'll follow it all the way through. So Moonpaw is going to be okay because we went ahead and cured that. This feels fair. And then finally, uh, it looks like visiting because they had a weird dream. So it looks like nothing actually happened bad to Nightpaw for fighting that fox. They were able to like heal no problem. Wow. That was dramatic. That was a lot. And we'll have to figure out where our clan is going from here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't believe that Barry Star is already like a senior. We're going to have to really think about this. She might end up retiring to the Medicine Cat Den sooner than I thought. Sedge Speckle is a lot younger than her. Well, he's three years younger than her, but man, how are these cats getting so old so fast? Ah! <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for poor Speckle Flood, who is truly one of my favorites. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!